Good evening everyone. I thought I'd do a, um, a video on the upcoming severe thunderstorm potential starting um, Sunday, extending out for about four days in southern half of Queensland and northeast New South Wales of um, this week coming. This is the, um, the bomb PME model. This is the rainfall forecast model. You can see it's showing signs of um, precipitation, some decent totals around SEQ, up to about 50 mils, a little isolated pocket of 100, extending inland along a trough in through southern areas of Queensland. Move on to the OCF model. This is, um, it gives you various forecasts for rain, air temperature, maximum air temperature, and that sort of thing. What I look at this model, what I look on this model for is any precipitation in these top, this top column of each town. So we're looking at Oki Airport there, and you can see that on um, Sunday there's 1.6 with a 25% chance. So there's not a lot doing on on Sunday, but as you progress through to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you can see the rainfall totals ramp up, and so do the percentages. Basically, three mil and a 75% chance is, is like a, a thunderstorm. That's like a thunderstorm setup, and that's supportive with the other model as well. And the same there on Wednesday, you've got 5 mil, 100%. That sort of leans towards thunderstorms with having a small total, whereas on Tuesday, you could be looking at widespread thunderstorms and rain areas to give you the 20 mil. Um, it, it goes inland a fair bit. You've got Gundawindi up here, um, 2 mil again, that's a thunderstorm, 10 mil, thunderstorms and rain, 2 mil. If you move on to SEQ, say Bow Desert, you can also see 5 mil thunderstorm Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If we move on to the, um, they were, they were the um, that was from Australian Weather News too, by the way, that OCF. It's um, public accessible, free content. Um, by Australian Weather News up the top here. Um, very good source of information for weather as well. It's got a lot of other stuff accessible from the home page. This is the um, the BSCH GFS forecast rainfall totals for 144 hours, so about uh, four six days. And again, you can see there's some totals in and around the border areas along the ranges where thunderstorms are going to to fire up and occur more frequently, I guess you could say. And little pockets like this up here around Dolby, but we try, try to ignore these little pockets and just sort of spread it out over the entire area. So you can see there's this precipitation forecast basically anywhere from Rocky, Emerald, Charleville, Roma, and through northeast New South Wales for the next um, six days. This is the Stormcast, my favourite tool. Um, basically, I've been showing a lot of people these screen captures. Um, blue areas uh, mean that the well, it's unstable. It doesn't always mean it's going to storm in these areas here. You also have to have you also have to have moisture as well. Okay, so that's on Saturday. You can see that there's a good area of instability along the ranges in um, in northern New South Wales through here. If we progress through to Sunday, broader areas of instability all the way down the east coast. Good chance of thunderstorms here on Sunday, late Sunday afternoon on Monday. Now, you, when we see these values, these purple values and these dark dark values here, we, we start to lean towards severe thunderstorm activity. I mean, severe thunderstorm activity can occur in negative fours like these lighter blues as well. However, when you, when you start to see these higher values, you really have to start to um, have a look into it further to see what the what the potential is. What's the biggest dangers, whether it be large hail, flash flooding, damaging winds, or I mean that sort of stuff. You can see again on Tuesday, we got Neg Six. That's that's severe thunderstorm potential. All that area of Neg Five as well. Also on Wednesday, it extends inland. Big areas of instability over southern Queensland and extending up up to the north as well keeps going out to Thursday also um, but it's it's right on the coast there on Thursday so we're looking at a good 
three to four days of instability across northern New South Wales. Well, this is the area that we cover at HSC up to Rocky, Emerald, Charleville, across the entire area. Okay, these are CAPE values. This, this is the energy, capable, available, potential energy for a thunderstorm. Um, the dark red areas, obviously there's a lot of energy there, so thunderstorms can be quite large. That's Saturday at 4pm along the ranges. Also into SEQ a little bit there. You can see on Sunday, um, anything a thousand or up, I guess you could say, has severe potential. Monday, you can see the purple areas, quite significant, severe potential down here around Coffs Harbour. These, these values may move around a little bit over the next few days, but it's showing broad areas of instability in these, these three to four days, down around Gympie there, across the Downs, good energy values there. And then on Wednesday, it really spreads out into a large area of, of instability across the whole area. And on Thursday it shifts it back towards the coast. Obviously there's an upper trough coming through and pushing it through. I'll give you an example for say on Saturday. You might have energy and lifted index or unstable air over Brisbane, but you also need moisture. So I'll bring the plot up and I'll show you something <coughs> Excuse me, to do with the plot. Now we spoke about these in the flood event. That line is always north, up this way. The winds are coming from that direction down low as you increase with height and they spin around and they and they turn back to the west. So that's your winds. It's got a little bit of feed in off the ocean there down the bottom there. You can see that coming in off the ocean. These two red lines here, one is the temperature, that one there, and one is the humidity or the amount of moisture in the air. You can see that the closer the lines are together the more uh, moisture that there is in the atmosphere. You can see these winds coming in from the east it's got good moisture down the bottom here. However, you can see how it dries right out as you go up with height. And we need more moisture in the atmosphere than that to produce some decent storms. So even though you've got this instability here, this grey line going up and it's unstable, you need to have the moisture as well. So on, um, on Saturday we don't quite have that around the Brisbane area. On the ranges, where you've got higher values, um, you can see that We'd, we also have a good feed coming in off the ocean down the surface, but see how the two red lines are close together? So you've got good moisture there. The storms are able to use this moisture and produce probably severe storms by the look of that one there. The grey line is the lifted line. Um, this value in the, in the gap in that area there is how they work out how much energy the storms have got, the volume of that area there. Um, so you can see there's good moisture going right up into the atmosphere, right up to the top. 40,000 foot, cloud tops going up to 40,000 feet up here. Uh, if you scroll on to the big day, I think the big day is Tuesday. Well, it's fluctuating between Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. You've definitely got major instability and, and high severe potential around um, northeast New South Wales. If you drop a plot in there and have a look... You can see the winds have picked up in speed. Although they're not coming on shore, you've still got a lot of moisture sitting in here over land areas, going right up to 40,000 feet as well, even higher, 43, 44,000 feet. Um, so there's good moisture, good storm potential there. This is the Stormcast. This is a, a program that my mate developed at BSCH, Mike Manning, and it basically gives you coloured shadings of, of thunderstorm potential. It's got a grading down the bottom. Storms possible, storms likely, possibly severe. That's on, um, on Sunday. If you go through to Monday, you can see the big areas of severe potential storms in here over northeast New South Wales, edging up into um, southern Queensland, over the southern downs. On Monday, then on Tuesday, the whole area is in red. Wednesday, wow, that's a pretty big area of um, thunderstorm activity on Wednesday with, you know, possibly severe storms around Gundawindi. Um, you can go to the lifted index, go, but there it is there, you can see the, the high values there back on the blue chart and keeps going out. 
Uh, the bomber, the bomber, backing it as well. I mean, on um, on Sunday they're calling for isolated showers and storms over the southeast interior. Okay, so they have got that there on Sunday. On Monday they've got um, the next up below level trough approaches from the from the state southwest of the state. Um, isolated showers and thunderstorms southern interior, pushing to the southeast coast on Monday. Um, also then. Outlook for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, basically, they're saying that this new upper level trough will approach from the west. And what upper level troughs do is they destabilise the atmosphere in the upper levels, which is essential for severe thunderstorm support, I guess you could say. Um, southern districts, the outlook period, shower storms, southeast through the interior. Uh, we're not too worried about anything beyond that. So they are backing it as well. Um, I was going to show you something on Facebook, but my Facebook is having a severe coronary. Um, what I was going to show you on Facebook was the fact that up in the top of, top section of your of the Higgins Storm Chasing Wall, you've got everyone most recent. Um, if you want to see other people's photos, what other people have uploaded, you've got to click that tab because um, it won't hit your newsfeed. The only photos that I put up or post that I put up hit your newsfeed. There's been a lot of photos uploaded tonight, and we are running the um, calendar competition this year. HSC admins have been discussing a new idea. Um, it's in early stages to do with um, the photos that are being uploaded. It's probably going to be a, quite a good site, and it will be predominantly focused around photos being uploaded to Facebook. Um, it'll be separate to HSC, but it's going to be a pretty awesome site, we think, for everyone across Australia that um, might want to upload weather photos and that sort of thing. So, if, you know, a little bit of um, new development, a few new ideas coming in, and we'll, we'll get to work on that now and um, put it out as a trial or maybe get as a feedback. So basically, I'll, I'll keep updating these as, as the situation changes, um, as these instability levels move around. I'll continue to update um, as the week wears on or into the weekend and um, definitely be keeping a very close eye on, this, on southern Queensland for severe thunderstorm potential starting Monday, entering Tuesday, Wednesday and possibly even Thursday. Okay, thanks guys.